Yo, konnichiwa, Jaster here with episode 106, Hunter x Hunter. For new viewers, we got a schedule posted up here behind me on the Bullet to Boards. You know what series I'll be watching on a specific day of the week. Also, if you want to watch my reaction with a little box right here with the audio and visual of the episode, you'll have to click the link in the description. You'll be redirected to Google Drive. You can watch that there. That's for copyright. If you stick right here, you're just going to get my reaction as I watch it. Last episode was absolutely just crazy. It was, it was, a, it was a wild one. It was a ride, that's for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. It was just, oh my god, it was so much. It, it was mainly that one scene of Meadowem taking off his own arm. I, I, I don't know. That was just something else. I can't believe he did that. Like, maybe he had it in his mind that P2 could put it back. But his, I don't know, the way he did it in the moment, he almost didn't even seem like he, he would remember that. He just assumed like, oh, my arm will never come back. That's a fitting, you know, apology. <laughs> like, fuck. But let's watch this. Nova's about to infiltrate the fucking palace and set up some portals. Let's watch. <laughs> Alright, and in three, two, one, there we go. I can't believe she said this. Like, instead of my arm, could you take my life instead, please? Like, please? <laughs> that, like, dude. Accept this apology, my arm, I just severed it for you. A human. He must really respect her or something. Like, oh my god. I wonder what that little floating orb into his hand is in this intro. If that's just supposed to symbolize something. Because I know his name means, uh, oh shit. Oh, the light that illuminates all or something like that? I almost forgot. <laughs> but yeah, Meduem means the light that illuminates all. Something like that. And, uh, that might be what it means. But I don't know. You just go away. And we still haven't seen that little scene right there. With, like, an army of chimera ants that look exactly like the queen. So, dude, honestly, is he gonna... Get away with what he wants, Medoem anyways, and like, give birth to a bunch of queens? Cause if so, my god! I really love that artwork. When they show Medoem standing on that rock, and the royal guards are bowing to him. Nov and Morel. Okay. <laughs> Damn, he's wow, he's in there. Yeah, like, if, are those going to all be born into, like, queens or something? Five hundred per tree. Damn. Oh, my God. Ooh, Five thousand. Yeah.
Yeah. Oh my God. So I think that in the. Oh my God. So I think he's actually going to be able to get away with birthing a bunch of queens. Okay, so he has to do something like, uh, he has to do that in order to open a portal in the first place. Man, he's got some balls. Is anyone going to stop him? Or anybody going to see him? Like, dude, this is, ah, oh, this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> for me, I imagine for him. Oh, he's like dark side. Dude, some, someone's going to confront him. I have a very bad feeling that he's going to get caught. Hell yeah, I'd be like going, whoosh, whoosh, run like 10 steps. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> oh, the music stopped for a second. Oh! Whoa! Wi window opener screen. What? What is he doing? Shut the fuck up, dude! That is insane! He is a monster, he is a beast. He is, oh my god. He just took the thing's head off by, like, opening a portal around it. Look at him! <laughs> oh my god, that was intense! He acted so quick, like, damn. Took off his shoes. <laughs> this is so intense. They're like doing no time skips. He's literally we're, we're watching him run around in this fucking palace. Every step of the way. Oh. What? What? Damn, what is that aura?
Very true. That would... Oh, my God. This is as far as I go. <laughs> He's giving up. Wow. Dude, these... <sighs> he couldn't f complete the mission. It, I mean, you could call him a coward, but man, would you do it? Even with his power? Oh. Oh. The Lion Guy from TV. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, Morel takes things very easily. He's like smirking as he does it, just kind of walking away, slowly doing things. He's very calm. And Nob's the same way, I guess, but that scene right there just like, man. Who wouldn't have been, like, intimidated at that point? The truck's going there? Oh. Bring in some... Some more, uh, people for the selection or something? <clears throat> Are there puppets driving them, or...? Who are these people? They're not normal humans alive, are they? Oh, okay. That's what it is. This guy's getting his selection of girls. Woo! <laughs> Palm's gonna be on the inside, man. They're getting the, the they're getting the up and ups little by little. Mm, yes, you will. <laughs> Ah, my video just lagged a little bit. I hope it's been doing that a couple times lately. It's gonna be a bitch to edit now. I'm surprised this guy gets to do whatever he wants around these ants. I'm surprised they don't have him in on uh, chains, <laughs> locked up. All Look at him. Does he eat the women? Now I'm getting a little confused. He might be like a cannibalistic motherfucker who eats women or something. Because he's licking his lips a little different than most people who are like ready to fuck. And they usually do it subtly like, mmm, yeah, girl. But no, this guy. The... Look at that. Is that like a little town?
She's like a giant compared to him. <laughs> Look at how big of a difference in height there is. Uh. What? I mean, I guess they're happy they aren't going to be killed. Her voice is just hilarious to me. <laughs> Her voice. Oh, snap. Yeah. Damn, these people are just so ready for anything. If I get captured, I get caught, I'm killing myself right away, immediately. Has the same mentality as him, like, yo, if they capture me, they're not just gonna kill me, they're gonna torture me, make me say everything I didn't want to say, and then probably use me. Even more after that, I won't die for a long time. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my God. This is just putting it into perspective, man. Like... Oh my god, this is... This is a very powerful scene. Oh my god. Just looking at that aura broke him. It broke him. Just witnessing it. Oh my god, that was actually a really, I feel like that was a really important, like, psychological scene. Like, just to, like I said, put it into perspective. Mom's making her move.
Grell's doing his thing. I really dig it. <laughs> That's right, man. That's right, man. <laughs> What's he doing? This is ah, oh, it's fucking ending. <laughs> the end of that first things first let's talk about that scene with Nov. Nov is normally a very calm collective person who keeps his cool all he did was witness I don't even think he physically saw it he just felt it he witnessed that aura and turned into a little bitch and I mean that in the most respectful way because I'd turn into an even bigger bitch. That ha that was a powerful scene. Like, Nov. That guy? Cowering? Damn near in the fetal position. Going, Go on, Killua! How can you still want to do this? Like, he's literally like, Practically going like this to Gon and Killua, like, you little kids are the most brave or stupid. There's a thin line between bravery and stupidity. You're either, you're one of those. <laughs> and that was so, that was, that was, that was nice to see. I mean, it wasn't nice to see, that's not the right word to use. <laughs> that was, that was good. Writing wasn't good for Nov at all. A man 
got destroyed. His psyche is fucked. I don't even think he's willing to even help anymore. I think he, I think, I, I don't know. I think he met, mentioned, uh, how, like, if Palm's in trouble to run away, escape immediately because he's not going to go back there. I think he said that. I, I don't know. I may have read it wrong. But, uh, he's not going back there. Even if he didn't say it, I have that feeling that, yeah, that, my man Nob is done. <laughs> <laughs> and Leol, the name he wants to be called, <laughs> uh, and Morel. Gonna get that next episode. I thought we were gonna get a little taste of it this, but at least the end of this episode, but nah, they, they kind of just did that, uh, um, cliffhanger. I almost forgot that term. Yeah, they left us off with a cliffhanger. What do you know? <laughs> uh, so, can't wait to watch the next one. Damn. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see any more. And, of course, comment anything on your fucking mind. Because I want to fucking hear it. Thanks. It's Mr. Jaster. A Jaster-sama. Jaster, whatever you want to call me. And I'm out. See you next time.